Welcome to part two of the Shingu Pike Cichlid video. If you've not seen part one, the link is in the description. Today we will look at the less common species, those found in the upper tributaries and those found in the lowland, where the Xingu River drops off the Brazilian shield and into the Amazon. So far we've looked at the four main species found in the Volta Grande, marked in red. Those fish are found from here upstream of the Xingu and the Iwiri, marked here in yellow. Upstream of the town of Sao Felix, they become less frequent and some no longer occur. This is marked in purple. Finally, we have the headwaters, where we find some very different crinicicla, marked here in blue. Since this video is about crinicicla, we did not mention teleocicla, the tiny pike cichlids that jump around the bottom of the shingu like gobies. They are everywhere, and there are at least six species of them but that is enough material for another video. Teleocicla are everywhere in the middle Shingu where the water is flowing fast enough. There is actually one more species in the Volta Grande, but it's quite rare and very small, so it hardly gets mentioned. It is the Shingu's dwarf species, found in areas with low flow. This small gray pike is Crinicicla anamiri. It is really not common and belongs in that Crinicicla regani group, the smallest pike cichlids. The last of the big ones in the rapids is Crinicicla phyospilus. It occurs upstream, where Shingu 1 is no longer found. It sort of takes over the same kind of high flow habitats, but then you can find them all the way in the upper tributaries of the Shingu, even in quite cool water. The Brazilian shield is more level in the upper Shingu, and water flows more slowly. In the tributaries that have a lot of plants, we find Crinicicla rosemariae, a beautiful fish in courtship color and rather drab when breeding or otherwise. To me, these round-headed lugubrous group fish are just not that beautiful and for anyone that has ever kept any green freshwater fish, you will know that to keep that green color you need plants in absolutely perfect conditions. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, they just fade. Let's see if we can find a breeding female. There she is guarding some very small young. Once the eggs are laid, these big crinicicla fade in color because camouflage becomes more important than attracting a mate. Up here in the upper tributaries, there's also a Saxatalis group fish. We find one of these in just about every habitat of the Amazon and Orinoco Basin. It looks pretty much like any other fish in that crinicicla alta or Saxatalis group. Let us now head north to the last rapid where the Xingu drops into the Amazon lowland. The Xingu, as we know it ends here and starts to look like a normal river. But some of the species also occur a bit below the rapids, among others Crinicicla Xingu 1 and 2, Zebra and Gold Nugget Plecos. Let us look at the fish beyond the famous rapids of the Volta Grande that are now getting dewatered and destroyed by the Belomonte Dam. At the city of Belomonte lies the start of the lowland Ria, a broad 180 kilometer long channel that eventually goes to the main branch of the Amazon. Some of the Shingu's endemic fish occur right to the confluence, but plenty of lowland Amazon species occur here. In the murky water of the Ria, you can find Crenicicla macrophthalma, living in depth of more than 15 meters or 50 feet, where there's no sunlight. It has no color, but the shape and big eyes are almost like a benthic marine fish. Further downstream, we find more and more Amazon lowland species, and there are some small creeks and rivers that enter the Xingu. Species that occur here have a wide distribution, like Crinicicla johanna and Crinicicla marmorata. This is the real Crinicicla lugubris. You can see the baby has two gold lines above and below the horizontal bar. While all of these fish technically occur in the Shingu Basin, to me they are not Shingu pikes, because you can find this set of three species in the lower Tapajos and even the lower Trombetas. The small creeks also have another Saxatalis group fish, because as mentioned before, they are everywhere. It would not surprise me if the lower Shingu also has other main river species like Crinicicla Shinkta and Crinicicla strigata. I hope you liked the videos, make sure to subscribe to this channel and contact me to sign up to get notifications for our book. See you next time.